Hello, good morning. Let me show you the coolest and the simplest way to construct the graph of quadratic function without using tables of values. Okay, let's try something different. So let us consider this quadratic function. First of all, I want to find the x-intercept, which are the values of x when y equal to zero, and they are also the root of the equation x intercept so by factorization i have something like this i want to think of two numbers which when i multiply them i get negative eight and when added together gives negative two so the numbers are negative four and positive two these are the two factors of this quadratic function if i set each one of them to be equal to zero the first factor will be x equals to 4 while the second factor will be x equal to negative 2 so these are the x-intercept i have the first one x equals 4 and the other one x equals negative 2. now i want to find the y-intercept by setting x to be equal to 0 so y intercept this is when x equal to 0. If you set x to be equal to 0, all these terms will be 0 except this constant term. So y will be equal to negative 8. Another point which I want to use is the vertex. That is the point at which the parabola takes a turn. So this is the function I have. So vertex given that y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8 um, I want to transform this into vertex form this is going to be y equals x squared minus 2x I want to group the first two terms together uh, give a space and uh, subtract the last term this is binomial quadratic function I want to transform it into a perfect square quadratic trinomial so the coefficient of x here is negative 2. I want to divide it by 2 and square the result. And this is equal to 1. So I want to add 1 here. But initially, we do not have 1 here. So to make the equation balance, I have to subtract that 1 to the other side. This is minus 1. OK, since this is a perfect squared, I can transform it into an index form. This is y equals x minus 1 to the power of 2. You have to take the coefficient of x and divide it by 2, and this is negative 1. Minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9. So this is the vertex form of this quadratic function. I can even write it here. This is the same thing as uh, x minus 1 squared minus 9. All right, so the vertex here, V, will be positive 1, which is the value of x, and negative 9, which is the value of y. If this value is negative, you have to take the positive 1. And if it is positive, you have to take the negative 1. So this is our vertex, positive 1 and negative 9. So what is left for me to find is the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry is the line that divides the parabola into two equal half, and it is when x equal to when x equal to 1. So these four points are enough for me to construct this quadratic graph. Let us plug this information into our graph. So the first one is the x-intercept, which are positive 4 and the negative 2. So positive 4 is here. Let me mark the point. And negative 2 is here. I'm done with this. Then the y-intercept is negative 8. That is the value of y along y-axis. And negative 8 is here. That is the point where the curve is going to touch the y-axis. Then the vertex, where the curve takes a turn. At negative 1, we have negative 9, the corresponding value here. This is the place where the curve is going to take a turn. Then the line of symmetry, the line that divides the parabola into two equal half is at x equal to 1. So this is x equal to 1. The line of symmetry is here. 
so these values should be somewhere here and this is line of symmetry the line that divides the parabola into two equal half um, it served here as an image so every other point here is a reflection of other points on the right hand side so since we have a point here look at the line of symmetry we have one point backward so the reflection of this point is going to be one point forward that's the right to the right hand side which is just on x equal to 2 so we are going to have another point here so these points are enough for us to construct this graph but if you want it to be a little bit perfect you can as well introduce some other points when x equal to negative 1 you see negative 1 negative 1 we have negative 2 squared which is positive 4 4 minus 9 is negative 5 so here under negative 1 we are going to have a negative 5 which is two points backward. You see from the line of symmetry, one after zero, then another point. So we can take another point twice to the right hand side. This is one, this is two, on that three. That is the reflection of that other point. We can still introduce some other points like when x equal to negative three. Negative three, negative one is negative four squared is 16. Then 16 minus nine is seven. So on that three, we have seven. This is seven on that three. So we have how many points backward? This is one, two, three, four. So we can take um, one, two, three, four on that five. So these are the points. So we can now connect them together to construct the graph. So my hand is not that perfect. Oh. And this one is out of the range so yo something like this so this curve is the graph of this function y equals x squared minus 2x minus 8 so this is the simplest way to construct the graph of quadratic function without even constructing tables of values so if you enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.